seven parts to a personal prayer time. Now, this isn't an exhaustive list, but if you're looking for a place to start, or you're looking to maybe kind of, um, you know, bring a renaissance to your prayer time, try this list of seven things. First part of a prayer time is to repent. Nothing like kind of clearing the decks uh, with things that may have um, come between you and God um, since the last time you prayed. What I'll typically do as part of a daily personal prayer time is I'll review the last 24 hours. Just kind of walk through and, and think of those things I need to say sorry to God. But I'll also include in that time people I need to forgive um, or people whose forgiveness I need to, I need to seek out. Now, you may, I would definitely recommend having a prayer time in the morning. That's usually the best for people. Um, usually, though, my repentance I'll do at night before I go to bed. But if I don't, I'll do it first thing in the morning. The second part of uh, personal prayer time is Thanksgiving. I want to thank God for the things he's done. And I want to thank him in um, some of the bad things because I know he can turn them around and make them into good things. I'll do my Thanksgiving when I do my repentance because um, I want to do a review of the last 24 hours or since the last time I prayed, hopefully it's within 24 hours, usually is, 99% of the time. Um, yeah, take that time to thank God and I might even put something in my journal. Number three, worship or adoration. Worship or adoration is thanking God for who he is. And so there are a number of ways of doing this. If you're new at doing this, and read one of the Psalms out loud, like Psalm 95, for example, or sing a song, liturgical or otherwise, like singing the Gloria is a great way to start if you're kind of new uh, to vocal worship. But what you really want to do is you want to establish a vocabulary of praise. So one thing you can do is just to say out loud the titles of God, especially the titles of Jesus. And if you don't know what they are, just Google them and you can get a list. Or there are other books on praise and worship that can help you build a vocabulary of praise. Number four, reading scripture. There's a number of ways of doing that. The most, one of the most popular ways is just to read the daily readings. That's good, that's a good way to go. Or another devotional, either thematic or kind of takes you through the Bible in a systematic way. Or read the Bible cover to cover. That's what I do. I, um, I read cover to cover. I think I've been doing that for the last 10 or 12 years. And I've been through the Bible maybe six or seven times. It really gives you a wonderful overview of salvation history. Now, there's two things, two approaches to it. You can meditate um, on it and just think about the scripture and what it means. You know, just to read it carefully, slowly, asking for the Holy Spirit's help. But you can also contemplate it. Here I mean in the Ignatian sense where if the verse lends itself to that, just to imagine, set the scene in your mind and imagine it and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you through it. And maybe even place yourself in the scene and see if the Holy Spirit choreographs your involvement in the scene. Number five, talk to God. There are so many things you can talk about, just about anything that's already happened in your prayer time. Talk to him about it, ask him questions. Or talk about your time in scripture, your meditation or your contemplation. Have a conversation, say, Lord, I, you know, I kind of imagined this, it felt like maybe the Holy Spirit, but I'm not sure what are you saying there. Or just to literally talk to him about anything. St. Teresa of Avila says that contemplative prayer is simply a conversation between friends. I'll also just, um, as part of my talking, um, now here, remember, talking is both, is a two-way street, talking and listening. So I might ask the Lord a question and then just fall silent. I may ask him for, an, give me an image. What I regularly do is I'll say, Lord, give me an image and a word that speaks to something you'd like me to work on. Or I'll say, Lord, give me an image or a word on something you'd like to encourage me in. Or I may do the same for scripture. Give me a scripture, book, chapter, and verse, something you'd like me to change, or a way that you want to encourage me, Papa. Number six, journal. In my journal, 
I want to write down anything that really stuck out to me in my prayer time, anything that God spoke to me through scripture. I will also use the journal to ask the Lord questions, especially regarding his will. Lord, do you want me to do this or do you want me to do that? And I'll write the questions down. Now, I may have already um, asked him these questions in my talking to God part. Um, and I'll write down an answer if I got one. Often the answers come outside of my prayer time. Also with my journal, I'll regularly review my journal. Number seven is intercessions. Take a time at the end to, to pray. Maybe some things that, uh, maybe the things that came up in your prayer that God wants you to pray about. Or your regular list. I've done different things for interceding. Um, I've uh, kept a list of people that I want to pray for daily and I've divided it up into into seven days so you can try that too.